Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. I have quickly made a card reading for you because the energies are so extreme. And uh, the last full moon a couple of days ago, um, I don't know exactly what happened. I had nightmares these last couple nights. And usually this is a part um, of dream work to move through tough energy. So I was really interested in uh, what's going on. And I use my Dakini Oracle. And um, I will post the pictures in my blog. So this was the card for the now. And 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 this card, you, you can see that this is an Egyptian mummy with the full ornament of an initiated priestess. And a card is called self-preservation. So what is happening in the moment? We can, we have to preserve the self. And I'm talking here about also our personal connection with our higher self, because remember what I always say, we are gods and goddesses having a human experience. And the world is like in the background and you see the sun, the sand storm and you might have heard the storm is upon us. So what we have to do now is to preserve the wisdom that is here to, to keep it within and to live it within ourselves. But it's yet not the time to go out. This is the card that leads up to it. And you can see the Lady of Pearls. And this is like... The pearls, they are significant for experience. The experience that here falls into an ice tunnel, that means that a lot of experience is wasted. This is the ego coming forward. And because we have been so focused on the ego and on our brain, um, the wisdom that was inside of the pearls fell into this ice tunnel. Now talking about ice is frozen water. So our emotions are water. We are connected with the element of water. And ice represents also in dreams. And when you have dreams and you dream of ice, ice mountains, whatever, that this means that there are problems in front of you, like emotional problems that are frozen. And depending how high the mountain is, it shows us how much we have to um, work on it because this is the future chord. I come back to this one over in a moment. So we have not been able to understand the experience. Most people, because are only in the brain. I was listening a lot of uh, Cryon lately because this is something that really helps me and I do not just um, go for the channel this week or that work I just tap into something and it's always something I need to know and I got a lot of videos that he talks about the innate and the innate is our body intelligence the innate is something that is within us that is connected to the body but not to the brain and he said that, you know, to get when we get sick, we need to go to somebody to tell us uh, that we are sick. <laughs> this is actually uh, ridiculous because we should know, right? You should know when something is sick. Some illness that come up fast with pain and the signal of pain will tell us immediately that something's wrong. But there are other hidden symptoms that are not coming up. And uh, once they come up, we are nearly dead already. So this is why we do not understand the, the way of life anymore. We have cut off part of ourselves that are crucial to our life. And this is the significant meaning of this card. That is the card to be in the brain, the ego coming forward. And the brain, now, what is the brain really? The brain is like a computer. The brain is something that is programmed. But when you come into this body, when we come into this life, there is something within us. Like we can observe much better in animals because they have no brain that uh, hides this 
innate abilities that we actually have, like uh, knowing to to swallow, that we know um, when you're a baby and uh, you know how to swallow the milk from the breast of the mother. So there's a lot of uh, things that we actually naturally know that our innate know. And this is why it is so important that we connect again to the different aspects of our self. The one aspect is also the connection to that, what we call usually the higher self, what I jokingly sometimes call the, the guys in the helicopter up there. So I when I wake up in the morning, it's like I go into my body, I come into my body. This is like when I get up in the morning, I get in my car to drive to work or whatever. And then I turn on the radio and connect with the helicopter up there and ask them, what is the best way to drive? Do not be stuck in a traffic jam or whatever. And this is kind of the intelligence that like the moment I come back into my body in the morning, because we have many, many different other things going on during the night. And then I'm ready for a new day. So the best thing is that I connect to my higher self, to my innate, and ask like, you know, the, the thing is to ask, uh, tell me what I need to know, because often we don't know what we need to ask because we don't have the knowledge what's going on on this day. So once we do that and we, we, we don't just use the ego, that our uh, experience of wisdom just falls into that tunnel of eyes, but that it is preserved within ourselves so the storm can go on in the back it doesn't matter because we are the ones to keep this knowledge within us and then the day comes when we we can move forward we can climb that mountain and you know this is the future card you know see the mountain is above the clouds so we move up here and the, the snow or the ice that is depicted here is like we are not any more prone <clears throat> to fall because of our emotions. <clears throat> we still have them. But up there in the clear air, in a, which is cold, that <clears throat> but it's not like the tunnel of ice. It's a big difference from these two cards. But this card represents clarity. Uh, if you ever have been on top of a mountain in, in a cold climate and you've seen the clear air, we used to hike with the skis up the mountains when I was young. And, you know, you come up to that top finally and then you have all the other mountain tops and the sunrise. Um, this is so beautiful. This is the absolute clarity. And that's where we have to go to. So, but... To get there, we need to be able afterwards to access all that, what we preserved. And we are the souls here on the planet Earth. We all have that within us. We have all been at one point um, seated as human beings. And um, no, we are not... Um, human earth human beings we've been seeded from different places but i don't want to talk about that now but i want to just draw like from my cards another one what is crucial that we are doing right now to get there and what i get is the death card the transfiguration <clears throat> and now see the structure of us is remaining and you see the beautiful halo around the head and the sickle here shows that we have to get rid of all these old programs that all these old programs that are in our brain that have been programmed within us with our ancestors coming forward 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 which is all we know today that we have to get rid of all this and we have to move on and and like just surrender to be empty to be empty and and when we do that what i got is the flying carpet that means that you don't have to go from your own effort anywhere 
the moment that you surrender to that, what we call that higher self, don't use the past anymore. Let all this go because it does not apply for the future. Once we move from the past away, we cannot apply anymore the past and, and put it into the future. Also called statistics or whatever that is out there, they won't work. Because once we move into a completely different frequency, everything's this is working a different way. And I think the magic carpet is a perfect sample that all we have to do is to sit on that magic carpet and let uh, let God, let, <laughs> let the divine transport us into the new and be open for all the so-called coincidences that are happening in our life the synchronicity that is now guiding us towards that new life you will see the old will collapse if you hold on to the old and what we had the ways of life as it was in the past it will be bad it will be miserable if you're ready to let go life can change and life can be very very beautiful again I see that uh, many, many people go through a lot of misery in the moment, but those that are at peace and try to just bring in light and, and do the best to be in the moment, not having expectations, they don't suffer a lot. And a lot of work is going to happen for you in dreams, as I experience very often then the dream might not be very funny. Uh, and when I wake up, I may be very sad, but it is something I've been working through in my dreams. I don't need it in my life afterwards anymore. And dream healing is actually, I was working with dreams many years ago, dream healing, I can say that we learn also how to influence our dreams that you can go when you go to bed, like what we used to do, go into an alpha state. And then what we did, we put these three fingers together. And uh, I go in an alpha state with breathing out three times. I breathe in, breathe in. Breathe out in three times, do that three times, and then put your fingers together. Ask your higher self, your innate your intel body intelligence show me what i need to know and give me the dreams that help to heal me and then in the morning what you can do when you can wake up you put your fingers together again and you can ask if there is a message if there is a message that i need to know now or any time during the day and then just go and it will be like intuition or suddenly wow an idea or something that will hit you, but you have to give the permission that this can happen. And this is a way forward that can help a lot. Okay, I hope this gives you a little bit another, um, maybe uh, another way to look at things and uh, some hope for the future, some strength to go through what is coming. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon again. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.